Once you've configured the sleep app on your Apple Watch, each evening you'll receive a reminder that it's time to start winding down, ready for bed. This will also activate the sleep focus mode across all your Apple devices, ensuring you'll no longer be disturbed by notifications, calls or messages. Your watch will then measure the length and different stages of your sleep throughout the night, until the morning when you either wake up naturally or to a gentle alarm on your watch. You'll then be presented with an information screen about the day ahead and stats about your sleeping habits. Configuring and monitoring your sleep on your Apple Watch requires a combination of the sleep app, the health app on your iPhone, and finally the sleep focus mode, which you can access in settings. It's actually very easy to prepare your Apple Watch for monitoring your sleep. You start by opening the sleep app on your watch. The first time you open the app, you're shown some information describing how the app will monitor how long you sleep for and how long you spend in the different stages of sleep, such as deep sleep and REM sleep. Skip through this information using the crown to scroll and by pressing next. The app will then set an automatic sleep schedule for you between 10.30 p.m. and 7 a.m. and a sleep goal of eight hours. You can adjust your sleep goal by tapping it and using the plus and minus buttons or the crown to scroll. Once you're happy, tap in the top left corner to go back to the main screen. You can then tap on the sleep schedule to adjust the times you wish to go to sleep and wake up. I'm a morning person, so I prefer to go to bed and wake up early. If you want to be woken by an alarm, you can enable that in the schedule too. Once you've set your schedule, again, tap in the top left corner of the screen to go back to the main screen and confirm your changes. Click next, scroll through the information and hit enable to complete the process. Scroll through your sleep settings and tap done. If you find configuring your sleep schedule on your watch a bit cumbersome and fiddly using the crown and the small screen, you can instead use the health app on your phone. If you don't see sleep in the summary, click on browse from the menu and search for sleep. Click on the category sleep and then scroll down to your schedule. Here you have the option to only adjust your next sleep cycle, say if you know you're gonna be out late that night, or you can change your full sleep schedule. Here you can also set additional schedules, say if you prefer to lie in on the weekends. Choose the days you want to apply to your schedule. Use the wheel to adjust the times and then decide whether you want an alarm to wake you. Add another schedule if your sleep routine differs for say during the week and on weekends. I recommend enabling this option which will automatically turn on the sleep focus mode for the period of time that you are asleep. Otherwise, you will need to enable and disable the focus mode manually. Not having focus mode enabled means that you will continue to receive notifications throughout the night, potentially disrupting your sleep. Further down this page, you can set a wind down period, which is what the sleep app uses to remind you to go to bed and initiate that focus mode. You can also adjust your sleep goals here too. Enabling this option allows Apple to both use your phone and your watch to monitor your sleep. This is useful if you have a tendency to reach for your phone if you can't sleep or if you check your phone last thing before going to bed and first thing in the morning when you wake up. The final thing to configure is the sleep focus mode in settings. As I mentioned at the start of the video, if you have family or friends who you need to stay in contact with at all times, you can add them here, guaranteeing that you'll receive their calls and messages during the night. And that's it. Having configured your sleep schedule, you'll now start to receive notifications when it's time to wind down or go to sleep. And in the morning, you can review the quality of your sleep in the Health app. Click on Show More Sleep Data to take a deeper dive into your stats. Stages will show how long you are in each stage of sleep and you can compare your stats over longer periods of time. If stats are your thing, then clicking done and scrolling all the way down to the bottom of the sleep summary, you can see a complete breakdown of all your sleep data and which of your devices was used to acquire it. A couple of things to note before you go, you can use the sleep app on your watch to change the schedule for any given day. You can see that it refers to next wake up only when you click on the schedule. 
If you open the sleep app settings in the Apple Watch app on your iPhone, you can enable charging reminders, which will alert you if your watch hasn't got enough battery life to get you through the night. And if you wake up on any given morning before your sleep schedule has ended, you can manually end it by holding down the crown for a few seconds. You can then swipe up to access the control center and disable the sleep focus mode. As mentioned, you'll receive updates each morning and periodically telling you how frequently you're hitting your sleep goal. So that is how to use the sleep app on Apple Watch. If you're wondering what the timer was in the top right corner of the video, well on this channel I aim to get straight to the point, giving you just the facts without any extra fluff. If that's something you appreciate, then please do give me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tutorials on all your favorite apps and devices. And you might also be interested in learning how to get the most out of the workout app on your Apple Watch or what's new in the mail app on your iPhone, iPad and Mac. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.